Hey guys, this is Sam, and very early in the year, Apple has already announced WWDC 2017. Now I say very early because usually we hear about this sometime in April. I think for WWDC 2016, an announcement wasn't set out until very late in April or May, and it was kind of weird because people were expecting the event to happen, but you didn't hear anything, and Apple's kind of 180'd on that this year. They're telling us super early in the middle of February, two days after Valentine's Day of when an event they'll be holding in June is happening. So as always, whenever Apple sends out not really an invitation for an event, but some information regarding one of their events, there are a few interesting things to note. So first off is obviously the artwork. Um, we haven't really seen anything like this in recent memory, and it's actually drawn by a specific artist that I guess Apple uh, hired out just for this event or, or for artwork about WWDC 2017. And it looks really nice but I don't really know if it tells us anything. I mean, I don't know, sometimes there's clues dropped about like a new product or uh, hints as to what the next version of something could look like, but as far as WWDC 2017 goes, it looks like we're just getting some really cool drawings right off the bat. So in addition to announcing the date super early and also showing us the artwork months in advance to what we're normally used to seeing, they also did something else as far as the venue and location goes. So in previous years, I think every year since 2002, it's been held in San Fran, San Francisco, California, but for WWDC 2017, it's actually being moved to San Jose, California, and the actual event keynote and week will be held in the McEnery Convention Center, um, once again in San Jose. I definitely haven't read that far into the location change. It could be something as simple as maybe the Moscone Center in San Fran was booked, or Apple wanted a change of scenery. I don't know just yet. I don't know if anyone really knows just yet, but I did hear someone mention earlier today that there are going to be around the same number of tickets that Apple's had in previous years for the event. So so if you plan on going, it's good news for you. There's not like limited attendance or anything like that caused by the location change. WWDC is so exciting for me because we get to see the next generation of iOS and Mac OS and watch OS and TV OS and all these different software versions that we actually use day to day and interact with constantly uh, throughout the next year on our devices. So get hyped for iOS 11, Mac OS 10.13. I guess if they don't change the naming scheme, uh, watchOS 4 and then tvOS, I don't really know what number they're on because I'm not like a tvOS enthusiast, but that will probably be updated as well. So in case you haven't already, I'd recommend subscribing because it sounds like it's going to be a pretty busy event on June 5th. I cannot wait. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section and let me know what your favorite Apple event is because for me by far, it's WWDC. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button down below. And of course, for push notifications, whenever I upload something new, make sure to add me on Newsflash. I've been Sam, I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll talk to you later.